a regional championship and a semifinal berth was hanging in the balance here at Boca Raton as both the boys and girls soccer teams looked to see if they could keep the dream alive for an all Bobcat state finals. The Boca boys started things off against Celebration as the Bobcats will have their last home game of the season. You know, we were able to do that with the number one seed in the region. Um, so we got what we deserve of, of having these, you know, three home games in the playoffs, which have been amazing. We take it one game at a time here, and we're just focused on taking care of business here tonight. Let's see if the boys can be the first ones to punch their ticket to the semifinal round. It was a tough matchup the whole game, but in the first half, the Bobcats would get on the board as the shot by Christian Gonzalez finds the back of the net, and that goal would be all they would need. The Bobcats claim back-to-back -back regional titles. A lot of the alumni that graduated last year was with us here tonight and, and sent incredible messages of support to our team, and I think that that's what kind of kept our composure today on the field, and uh, sure enough, we're going back to another Final Four. Now it's up to the girls. Wellington traveled out to see if they could play spoiler to the Bobcats. Early on in Boca, is looking to take an early lead, and the first shot is saved, but Ava Cooker would walk it in, and the Bobcat girls would find their way into the semifinal round as well. This is uh, 13 seniors, their last game at home, their last game under the lights, and I just told them to have fun, enjoy the moment, and i um, really proud of this team. That's three regional titles in a row, and you know, back to the state, so I'm very excited. So the boys handle business with a 1-0 win and the girls go on with a 6-1 victory and they'll both be taking the field in the semifinals on the 29th. Here in Boca Raton, I'm John Barron.